News for a special assignment. How do your benefits stack up against county workers? No one investigates like News 4. Six years ago, we brought the story of how some county workers were enjoying almost double the time off than the private sector. Local leaders promised changes, and now News 4's Rich Newberg is seeing if they followed through. Six years ago, Erie County employees were working the equivalent of eight weeks less than their counterparts in the private sector. Joel Giambra's priority at the time? To reduce the number of hours that county employees do not work. Six years later, not much has changed for CSEA county workers with seniority. They're still under the same contract and work 360 hours a year less, that's nine weeks less, than the private sector, according to the county personnel department. You're dealing with union contracts, and, and that's you know, something that has to be negotiated uh, with those unions. And, and you know, obviously, their, their, you know, the, their role is to protect their workers. County workers receive 32 hours more of paid holiday time and 120 more hours when it comes to combined personal, vacation, and sick leave time under the old contract terms. But unlike the private sector, county workers do not get disability insurance. Over the last six years, CSEA and Teamsters Union members in Erie County have sacrificed wage increases in order to hold on to their benefits. And current negotiations with the county are not coming easy for either side. We're not in agreement right now on all the issues, uh, whether it be uh, uh, wage increases or, for that matter, concessions with regards to health care and, and other concessions that will be asked for. I think because of the way the economy's been, we're, we're just ripe for attack. The workload for many Erie County employees has increased, as it has for so many in the private sector. There are fewer workers, and the people who are left to do the work have more work to do. But former Erie County Executive Chris Collins was able to get the AFSCME Blue Collar Union to make major concessions. They gave up a, a couple of holidays, they gave up uh, personal time off, and they've agreed that new hires would pay 15% towards health insurance. They also gave up lifetime health insurance for new hires, gave up shorter summer workdays, and agreed to reduce paid lunch periods from an hour to a half hour. In return, they got 3% salary increases from 2010 to 2015. It was, to me, a, uh, a very important contract that dealt with all the issues that aggravate the taxpayers. The question now is whether the county's largest union will go the same route, feeling the pinch of no raises for six years. I always say I pay taxes too. And I've got to tell you, my tax dollar doesn't go as far as it did. My paycheck hardly goes at all. I'm sure we're going to have to do some kind of compromise eventually. We'll just have to. And we'll be posting our interviews with County Executive Mark Polencars, CSEA Local President Joan Bender, and CSEA Regional President Flo Trippi later tonight on our website, wivb.com. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 530.